Hey trainers, Anthony here with Rancor TV. Today, so excited about bringing this next opening to you all. As you could tell from a little bit of my extended intro, I was over at my Walmart uh, recently and I ran into some of these Hidden Fates boxes. So, of course, I had to grab them um, and uh, bring some home. I got some sealed up behind me that I'll probably be hanging on to for a while yet, but I definitely felt like uh, we needed to crack a few of them open. Really, we deserve it, right? We got to treat ourselves sometimes. Um, even though, you know, these are becoming more available in the stores, they're still realistically, guys, they're still going for like eight to ten dollars a pack online. So they are very much still a popular set. And um, I have heard and, and, you know, believe that I think there's going to be a time when these aren't in the stores anymore. They are just going so fast. So um, let's jump down to the bench here and we'll see what we are going to open up today. Um, so I have four of my loose packs that uh, I purchased on eBay in a loose lot. I got 18 of them. For a pretty decent price they were right at about five dollars a piece when i bought them i'm kind of kicking myself now because i think they had about a full booster box worth available but um you know it's been good we've gotten some decent shinies and stuff out of these so that's fun and then of course i have one of the sealed boxes um that we will crack into and uh you know hopefully we can get some good stuff out of that as well uh so let's kind of start i guess with just getting into this box. All right. And here we can see that fabulous, beautiful uh, Raichu card. It is really just a phenomenal looking card. I'm really excited to add this one to my uh, promo collection. Uh, of course, we've got the uh, oversized card as well. And that's cool. That'll go into my stack of uh, large cards. And then we've got our four packs. So that'll be eight packs total of Hidden Fates that we're pulling. Of course, Everyone's on the hunt for that shiny Charizard. I think it goes like three to four hundred dollars depending on the condition that you get. Um, that would definitely be one that if I got it, I would be sending it into PSA to get it graded. And there is the code card for the box. Good luck to whoever gets that. Um, but yeah, guys, I mean, there the Charizard is obviously what you want, but there are so many great cards in this set which make it so popular. So um, let's just jump in and start opening these. Starting off kind of with a Mewtwo pack here. And these first four will be the ones that I pull out of the boxes. Um, or out of, I should say that I pulled out of the box. And then the last four will be ones that I just bought kind of uh, from that loose lot on eBay. Um, Magikarp. Ekans, Voltorb, nice little uh, Arbok, <laughs> and an Arbok rare. Um, all right, not uh, not too bad for a first one. Let's see if this uh, Charizard art will do any good for us here. Here's your code card there. Of course, we'll do the card trick. And uh, maybe this is a bit of a premonition, that fire energy. Scyther, Charmeleon, Caterpie, Charmander, Clefairy. A lot of fire in this one. Kind of exciting. Uh, Charmander, Reverse, and a Jolteon, Rare. All right. We got the birds next. Um, I think I didn't catch it before in my last Hidden Fates opening. I did actually get... Um, that rainbow rare of the bird which was pretty awesome to get um you know i think it's a good addition to any hidden fates pack so there we start with a leaf energy chancy pewter city gym voltorb coughing cubone geodude jigglypuff erica's hospitality a nice little reverse rare and <laughs> another jolteon 
All right, well, we haven't gotten anything super good yet, guys. Um, we got this Charizard pack up next. I've heard that the um, pull rates on actually some of the this newer, I don't, I've heard conflicting things. I don't know if it's an actual new newer print or if it's just they've released more stock, but I have heard both things. Um, apparently the pull rates are a little bit worse um, at least that's what people are saying. You know, before they were saying about one in five packs, I think, um, for some kind of a shiny or shining. So there's a, a reverse there and then an electrode. Um, so now we've got our four. Yeah, and so we got all four arts here from our thing. So anyways, um, you know, I, I haven't opened up enough Hidden Fates yet to really know one way. Oops. <laughs> And I tagged my uh, upper camera there to know one way or another. Um, but I will say that I have gotten some pretty decent ones out of the Hidden Fates that I've pulled so far. I do have a few of those um, shiny vault cards, which are really neat. Uh, plus the art on these, like this Clefairy, for instance, it's like so, it's so whimsical. This is definitely one of my more favorite Clefairy arts. And I could say the same about several of the other ones. Um, Butterfree there for the rare card. All right, let's see if the birds can help us bring this back online. So far, we have not really gotten much, and I really need to uh, adjust where that camera is. All right, there we go. Code card for that one. I apologize if my face is shaking a little bit, but you guys are probably looking at the cards anyways. Charmeleon, Brock's Grit, Farfetched, Ekans, Eevee. Pikachu, uh, Clefairy, that's a different one than the one we got before, so that's pretty cool. Jigglypuff, another Pikachu, and uh, all right, we got a little bit of a hit here. At least we got that uh, holographic Eevee card, which that is actually a pretty, that's actually a pretty stinking neat card right there, so we'll set that one up here. Actually, along with our Raichu, and uh, then there were two, guys. Then there were two. So, I'll crack open these last two, guys. Get your fingers crossed. If you've got any good luck fingers or whatever, send them my way because uh, I definitely am going to need it. So, we can kind of turn this episode or this video around here. Giovanni's Exile, Koga's Trap, Lieutenant Surge, Caterpie. Paris, Psyduck, Charmander, Magikarp. Ah, oh, there we go. There's a Shining Whooper. A Whooper. Whooper. All right. So that's actually pretty cool. Um, yeah, we got a little. We got a little something there. And then there's just a nice Mr. Mime non-holographic. All right, last pack, guys. So we, you know, aren't doing too bad. I think we've opened eight so far. Um, only got the one shining, but uh, you never know. We're just one away from realistically getting, uh, you know, the one in five or the one in four odds like I talked about. So, um, Giovanni, Koga, Lieutenant Surge, Caterpie, Paris, Charmander, Slowpoke, Psyduck. There's a Zapdos reverse holographic. And we got a Lapras. So, um, really, guys, our kind of our hits today were this Eevee, and then we got this uh, this Whooper, which really, I mean, this this shiny card. I, I I don't have any idea what it's worth. You guys will definitely know since I will have flashed that across the screen. But um, realistically, I mean, it looks like it's in just perfect condition almost. We'll flip that around. The centering on the back looks really, really good, too. So I'll get that into a sleeve and uh, just add it to my collection of shinies. I think I have about three more now, um, which is pretty good. So I think it's going to wrap it up for this one, guys. If you haven't already, definitely smash that thumbs up button for me like I know you can. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when my next great video comes out. In the meantime, keep training and stay happy.